Well, this was a little unexpected this morning. We got snow in the night. I'm gonna go and I'm going to make some coffee. Hmm, snow. Hello everybody, good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. It is a snow day today. It is so beautiful. I just realized I didn't even put my earrings in this morning. Um, I woke up. It was totally unexpected. I woke up. I went downstairs like I always do. I opened the blind on the front door and I was like, wait a minute. This ain't normal. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Last time I checked, it was still snowing. It was so pretty. Uh, you guys know I'm probably one of a choice few of individuals that absolutely love the snow. It is so beautiful. But I lived in the South for tw over 20 years, and we didn't get a lot of snow. And so when I get snow, I get all excited. So today is definitely a day oh, of being inside. And I just put on a little bit of makeup, and I just pulled my hair up into a high bun because um, I'm going to make some chicken soup today. And that kind of worked out perfect. I was going to make it yesterday, but honestly, today's a better day to have soup because of the snow. I'm going to make some ham and cheese pinwheels. Ronnie has never had them, and so I'm going to make some of those for him to go with his soup. He does not have COVID, but he has a little bit of... Um, when the weather drastically goes back and forth, it affects his asthma so bad. And he's like... Sounds like he has a little bit of a cold, but actually he's he's perfectly fine. Um, I um, am going to take him some Mucinex downstairs because that helps him. And I've got him under an electric blanket downstairs in the uh, recliner. And I told him we're not going anywhere. And so he is just to relax. I'm going to make him some soup today. I need to wash towels um, and washcloths. And I have a couple loads of laundry to do today. Um, that need to be done or we're going to be walking around naked. Um, <laughs> and in this weather, nobody wants to be naked. Um, I need to wash my bedding today. So I've got a lot of laundry to do. Yesterday, I accomplished a lot. We were supposed to have company, but that fell through. And then now they're saying they're coming today. But I have this very strange feeling that that's going to fall through again because of the weather. Um... But just in case they do come, I want to go downstairs and I want to tidy up downstairs and just make sure that, you know, I've got wax melt burning, nothing sitting out, um, all those good things. You know how you do when you prepare for people to come over to your house. Um, and also, too, I don't know if you guys do this, but I spray my house with Lysol and freshen it up and everything before and after people come over. Because I just feel like, um, t you know, I don't want to take any chances. But they are totally vaccinated. We're totally vaccinated. I mean, we're we're not going to be kissing each other or anything. <laughs> um, we uh, definitely take precautions as much as we possibly can, you know, just like everybody else. Um, but anyhow, um, yeah, that's about it. I just uh, gonna get my day started. I just love waking up to snow. It just puts a smile on my face.
had to change pots because that pot was way too small. So I got soup in here and uh, going to uh, let it come back up to a boil and get that zucchini and that broccoli done in there. gonna start it like that so it is night time we watched a couple Waltons tonight and uh, got my my sweetheart over here sitting next to me and we are getting ready to uh, call it a wonderful wonderful Friday evening yep and uh, I hear Bo barking yeah old Bo Bash I've been <laughs> just uh, a barking away yeah, that's the fun thing about having your father-in-law next door. You can hear when, hear when he lets the dog out. And uh, so anyways, yeah, uh, Ronnie and I have just spent the day pretty much just keeping warm. 
And we had good chicken soup today, and those ham and cheese pinwheels were delicious. Yeah, it was so good. I ate four bowls, and we got the, uh, that was a big old pot. Too. I made the biggest pot ever. Uh, I had to change pots to a bigger pot because I didn't have enough room. I didn't even realize it was going to be that much. But, oh, <laughs> he's sneezing. I had so much, uh, but we have very little left. I gave um, a big bowl of it to my father-in-law, and we called to see if he liked it, and he was eating it, and he was like, oh, this is the best thing ever. He said, this is sure better than a can, didn't he, babe? No, he did. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't know you had a pot that big, but it was uh, yeah, I, it was real nice. I, I pulled out the big that. one. I hadn't had to pull that one out since we married, but today I did. Um, Ronnie is... He doesn't have COVID, but he caught my cold, apparently. He's got a cold. And oh, I don't think I did something just... Guys, I done something a little, probably foolish. Uh, it was a little windy out, and uh, I needed some fresh air because I got warm. And uh, I think I spent a little bit Too long in the cold. It's not... No, it's uh, nothing but a sinus. Well, and he's got asthma, here. but he's been sneezing his head off like crazy. I had it a couple, you know, you guys remember, I had it a couple weeks ago, and I lost my voice and his voice tonight. In fact, he played a trick on his dad. We got a, we got somebody that we know. He's got a real deep voice, real deep, and so... Um, I was acting like the, he uh, was neighbor. trying to pretend like he was him over the phone to his dad, and his dad actually fell for it and thought he was him, and we was a giggling and a laughing, and uh, and his dad he was talking he thought he was talking to him. Do the voice though, babe. I want to know if I come over for a few hours. <laughs> He talks with this real low voice. Let me come over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, we just, um, I washed all the dishes and I swept the kitchen floor and got everything all tidy. And um, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but it's going to be really cold again tonight. And when it's cold in these old houses... We let leave the water drip. Let the water drip and uh, leave the cabinet doors open so that your pipes don't freeze in underneath. Because let me tell you something. A little bit higher for water bills is a lot better than hundreds of dollars getting to get it to fixed. Work on your bike. That's right. So um, we got the faucets dripping in there and the cabinets open. Especially got to really uh, be concerned with it down here more so. Then upstairs, because it stays real warm upstairs. Um, especially since I opened all the vents and all that, it stays real warm upstairs. That's why we keep the bird upstairs, because it's warmer up there. And down here, I think it'd be just too chilly, too um, drafty for um, him. We have had uh, Jack the bird. I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys have been following me a long time, I bought his Ronnie. Name is JJ. Well, his name is JJ now, but it wasn't in the beginning. Oh. We, when the beginning, we had. Okay, let's back back. Last year for Ronnie's birthday, I got him two parakeets. We named him Jack and Jill. Jack murdered Jill. <laughs> we. It's terrible to say, but it's true. I don't know why, but he did not like his wife, and. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, she died, and it was very upsetting, and we thought Jack would be super, super lonely. He was happy. Than he ever. was happier than ever that's how when she knew. was gone. That's how we knew something. He and something. he loves to listen to the uh, 80s and 90s station. Yeah, B97. Yeah, upstairs. He loves radio station. He chirps all day long, and he let me know he needed water and food this morning when I went in there to work. And uh, he's a really good bird, but he's just a loner. And everybody's like, oh, that bird's going to get so lonely being by himself. He but likes it. He loves it. He likes being by himself. <laughs> we, when I go in there, he shuts up. Yeah. He, <laughs> we, got, we got the weird bird out of all never, the parakeets. Out of all birds. Out in of all world. of them, I got you the weirdo for he, your birthday. He does. I'll go in there to talk to him, 
He don't want me in there. <laughs> well, today is my friend Emma birthday and she watches all my video vlogs and i just want to give a shout out before i close this video out we both do want to wish you a very very, very happy birthday happy birthday i'm yes. just four days older than you yes he's, he's four days older than her and um so younger's younger emma younger is younger and i think we'll probably see you sometime tomorrow but we want to say happy birthday to you um, she's one of my biggest fans, and she always watches all, all my videos and supports me, and she comes to all of our uh, family gatherings as well as all of our get-togethers down here at the house, and it's just, she was my matron of honor in my wedding, our she's wedding. A, uh, she's a very wonderful, she's the most wonderful yep. friend, she's a... Uh family to us because uh i tell you if you live a lifetime and you end up with a friend like a friendship like hers you are lucky because there's not very many people like that anymore no um she's a good woman if i ever need anything and i call her she's at my door isn't she yes she is she is she's dependable well, anyways, Emma, we love you. Happy birthday. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our unexpected snow day today because I woke up and there it was. And uh, my beautiful friend came to see me again, uh, which is the snow. But um, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. And <laughs> we would surely appreciate it, both Heidi and I. So That's until right. until next time. I want to wish you a very happy good night, happy and good we night. shall see you tomorrow. That's right, guys. Good night.